So hi everyone, this is me, Dr. Ashto Bhardwaj. So let's do some readings. And I'm sharing this. And then I'm going to present this. Okay. So hello everyone, this is me, Dr. Ashto Bhardwaj. Here we are, we are starting Ellen's keynote. And in this series of videos, I'm being sharing the medicines plus the case taking of every single medicines. So this only and only uh, surrounds with the um, Ellen's keynotes, Materia Medica. And uh, uh, you all can watch this on uh, YouTube as well as on my Instagram handle. So yes, uh, I'm Dr. Ashutosh Bhardwaj, founder of Dokumiopath, and uh, I'm doing MD in Materia Medica from Lal Bahadur Shastri Homeopathic Medical College, Prayagraj. So let's start. So the word Materia Medica literally means medical matters. Okay. The ordinary medical dictionary defines its as that branches of medical sciences that teaches the origins and preparation of drugs, their doses, their mode of administration. Homeopathic materia medica is differently constructed as compared to other materia medica. Why? Because it has given such uh, important medicines, important totality that you can find in your clinical practices. Next is that uh, before starting anything, I wanted to introduce myself. I am Dr. Ashutosh Bhardwaj. As I told you, I'm doing uh, my MD in Materia Medica. I'm a classical homeopath pursuing MD. I secured AIR rank in AIPGT rank uh, in uh, 2022. So my rank is 2775. Category rank seven. I've been practicing homeopathy since 2017 and learned from Dr. Gauranga Kwats, uh, Dr. Dinesh Johansa, Dr. Yamini Ramesh, Dr. Niharika Nam, Dr. Kaushik, sir, and Dr. Ashwini Kumar Basa. So it's an amazing, amazing to learn from each and everyone. And I'm still learning and I am ready to learn from anyone. So let's start without wasting any time. So my only thing is that ki, why you need a lens keynote? Why anyone wants to read a lens keynote? We have, uh, I have learned also from my seniors that uh, if you have to do something in your practice, you just have to read a lens keynote. So, why is there a need to study a lens keynote? Studying keynote symptoms not only convey the fundamental and central idea of uh, the drug but also helps in making quick, confident, effective, and practical prescriptions. This book will assist students like, like us to understand and apply Materia Medica effectively. Next, we have to understand that he, uh, this book aims to present enough of the outline and the leading characteristic of the drugs, which will guide the student in proper direction of the remedy while prescribing for the sick. The life work of the student of homeopathic materia medica is one of the constant comparison and differentiation and to be able to do so, the students and practitioners must have knowledge of the individuality of the remedy. Something that is peculiar, uncommon, characteristics, this book provides all. It is a very basic and useful materia medica handbooks to excite in various competitive exams around India. So before starting next, this is my social media you're watching on uh, YouTube. So this is my YouTube page, YouTube profile. You can also uh, follow me and uh, I'll be sharing it on my description so you can uh, subscribe this from 
there and uh, this is my youtube channel the other social media plan or uh, platform that is linkedin next is my social media instagram that i am uh, mostly there and i'm 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 on everywhere but you can find me on this two instagram and linkedin so if i'm reading this if i'm teaching this so what are you going to read or what are you going to study in this video or uh, in in this video series so you're gonna find in this series a case study material medical medicines important therapeutics clinical prescriptions prognosis plus potency selection so um why all these are why all these are important let's start and let's study why so before uh, doing or going anything further i want to to share one of the disease uh, we are going to read everywhere in every sentences that this marishmus so marishmus is a disease caused by low intake of nutrient and energy as a result it leads to wasting or the loss of muscles and body fat additionally the nat natural growth among human being is hindered due to the healthy conditions so marishmus is an extreme form of protein energy malnutrition it occurs when an individual does not consumes enough calories and protein in the diet for extended period so uh, i have shared one photo it's a photo of a child around i must say he's around 4 um, 5 years look at his face look at his uh, emaciation look at his weakness look at his head so i'm 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 going with this why i'm telling this we are going find in this next slides or when we are reading alien's keyboard so do some readings from alien's keynote let's get started and um, uh, this video is especially being created with synergy homeopathy software with uh, everything we are going to study from synergy so ibrotinum ibrotinum the common name is southern wood composite family alternating constipation in diarrhea linen tree the marishmus of children with marked emaciation especially in legs okay there are some medicine iodum senecula and tuberculinum so before starting this i want to share some of the things that ki these are the Uh, the photo you are uh, seeing this is from synergy it's a snapshot and uh, i'm sharing because i have to read and i have to share it to you all in uh, so coming back to the point ibrotinum so why ibrotinum marishmus of children with marked emaciation especially of legs let's talk about some like uh, it has given na ki iodum why iodum in iodum you can see the iodum is of scrofulous diathesis and the scrofulous diathesis are kind of people who have some emaciation problem who has some malnutrition problem okay so the iodum patient looks like the iodum child looks like it's a dark hair a uh, dark black hair dark eye and uh, low cachectic condition when uh, uh, what does it mean cachectic so cachectic means low health malnutrient problem and all these things so why i brought in a why iodum so white has been written in this so 
in Ayurvedam, it has a profound debility and great prostration and great emaciation. In Ebrotinum, marked emaciation, especially of legs. Okay. So, one more thing I wanted to share in this that Ayodam has also a ravenous hunger. You can also see in this uh, video that ravenous hunger, losing flesh while eating well. Look, there is an Ayodam written here. So, yes, Ayodam also have ravenous hunger. But what the sentence has been written in Ellen's keynote in Ayodam medicines is that ki, uh, he eats well eats fresh and well, yet loses flesh very easily. Matlab, all the time. Anna? So it has been written something like that. Anna? And I am talking about in Ayurveda, ravenous hunger, lose flesh while eating well. Okay, That is the main thing. Let's talk about Senecula. When we compare about Senecula, we have to understand that why Senecula has been written here. What are the features of emaciation in Senecula? So, Senecula has the emaciation progressively and child looks old, child looks dirty, greasy, brownish. So, I have shown you one picture. Let's show it again. Look. Look the face of it. The Senecula baby. The iodum baby, the abrotinum baby. So why it has been? Look the greasiness of his face, the old look, the uh, dirty look, you know, the emaciation. So this is why I have put this image. Next is that senicula. Why senicula has also one thing is that neck wrinkle hangs in folds let's wait let's read the full sentence of the smashness of children with marked emaciation especially of legs the skin is flabby the hang loose of folds of neck especially okay senicula the skin is flabby Hang loses and folds. If I'm talking about of necks, it's like natrimurin senicula. Okay, so I wanted to discuss one two more things about the medicines. That is, uh, there is one remedy of old face wrinkle. So we have discussed now old face wrinkle. So we are going to discuss in Lynn's keynote and brought in the last, last sentence. Look, face old, pale, wrinkled, opium. If we are talking about opium baby, so we have to understand that marishmas of child with wrinkled face, wrinkled skin, look like dried up old men. Dried up old men. So this has to be understand in opium. This is why opium is also uh, giving in malishness also. But after the totality making. Okay. Next, we are going to understand that netramu. Netramu, if I am talking about malishness, I have to talk about natramu also. So great emaciation. Okay. With losing flesh while eating well. It has given an item also. Okay. Throat neck and throat uh, area. Neck skin. I'm talking about neck skin. It's like child emaciation rapidly during summer complaint. Okay. During summer complaints. Okay. So, summer complaints ki baat hum kar rahe hain. To next time sab symptom parte hain. So, we will see what is Next symptom is in management. Head weak. Cannot hold it up. The medicine is Ethusa. By Ethusa. Ethusa is the remedy of 
total baby. Okay. And so the baby has a marked feature of vomiting, marked feature of uh, debility or weakness, and frustration, debility, once again. So Ethusa is the medicine of summer complaint also. And the baby who has a marked feature of weakness and vomiting, I have told you once again. So Ethusa baby has, he cannot, tolerate milk okay in any form he can't tolerate stool also he can't tolerate spasm also because everything the vomiting the spasm the stool he cannot tolerate and this led him to be on a weakness general debility okay so uh, drowsiness sleep okay these all things these all things have been seen in this. Okay. So the weakness led him to be by great weakness, cannot hold it up, cannot stand. Even he can't hold his head. And he's like ki as it, as it. his mother has to hold his head like this. Like this one. So she has to hold his head. Okay. And in this, why I'm telling it, Huza? In Abrotinum also, there is one sentence like last third one. Great weakness and frustration and kind of hectic fever with children unable to stand. Unable to stand, cannot hold it up. What? The head weak because of head weakness. So this is why Ethusa has been compared in Abrotinum. Okay. There is one more thing, regurgitation of food, greasy vomiting, greenish vomiting. And uh, there is one or more thing is like milk curdly. Hota hai, you know? The milk is curdly, yellowish in nature. And uh, regurgitation of food, it's like greenish vomiting. Okay, this has to be completely check it out okay so next symptom is malignance of lower extremities only ravenous hunger loose flesh while eating well pain contraction of limb from cramp or following colic rheumatism from excessive pain before the swelling commences from sudden check diarrhea or other secretions alternating with hemorrhoids and dysentery gout joint stiff swollen and Pricking sensation, wrist and ankle, joint pain and inflammation, but the Kali force. This is also a comparison of Kali force or calcarea force. Okay. Very lame and sore all of the but all over the body. Itching chilblain. So next we have to understand that itching chilblain and there is a medicine called as agaricus. Why agaricus? Agaricus has also the symptoms. That is um I think it has written like Chilblain with itch and burnings, and uh, these itching and burnings are intolerable. Okay, so itching chilblain is also here in a brotidum. Next is great weakness and frustration, and a kind of hectic fever with children unable to stand. Child is ill, nourished, irritable, cross, and despondent, violent, inhuman, inhuman, would like to do something cruel. Okay. So there is one more thing you have to understand that for the exam or for the competitive point of view is that ki, uh, uh, the relationship, the uh, family and the name, the brought in. So relationship after hipper and foruncles, after echinoid and bryonia in pleurisy, when pressing sensation remains affected side impending respiration. Take care. Can be given in different different things. One more thing you have to understand that ki abrotinum is like very changeable in nature, very much changeable in nature. In nature also, in the symptom also, there is one symptom like ki alternating, alternating diarrhea and dysentery. Okay, there is like 
read the rheumatism part. Rheumatism from excessive pain before the swelling commence from sudden check diarrhea and the other secretions, alternating with hemorrhoids, alternating with dysentery. So this has to be very keen in mind. Key. You have to understand this. Next, let's do some quick reading from Boric Materia Medica. There is, the, as I told you, a brought in a southern wood and uh, marriage especially lower extremities, yet with good appetite. So, uh, there is one uh, uh, kid's movie, like uh, Dispensable, Dispensable Me. There's a character of Gru, Mr. Gru. He's a main villain and uh, his character is something looks like a brotanum. So, you have to understand, you have to once check it out that uh, Mr. Gru, G-R-U. Okay, so there is also a metastasis, metastasis of bones, metastasis in bones, and uh, great weakness after influenza, califos, okay? tubercular peritonitis, exudative pleurisy, okay? hemorrhoids with rheumatic improvements, aggravation of hemorrhoids. Okay. Face wrinkled, cold, dry, pale, blue rings around dull looking eyes, okay, emaciation, angioma of the face. Next is like uh, skin, eruptions come out of the faces, are suppressed and the skin became purplish, okay. Extremities, pain in shoulder, arm, wrist, pricking in coldness in fingers and feet, leg get emaciated, joint stiff and lame and painful contraction of limbs. Ammonium mu. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is a relationship of scrofularia, bryonia, stellaria, benzoic acid in gout, iodum, natromurin, marishmus. So, okay. Next. Next, you have to understand that key aging tilbillin is there for uncles. This is a quick view of Bolic Materia Medica. Next, let's have some, let's, I have, uh, I'm, I'm not the case of a brought in, but I have taken it from Synergy Homeopathic Software and uh, you can read it from your own by purchasing Synergy Homeopathic Software and it's a wonderful software for uh, your quick view, quick uh, study and for your clinical practices also. So next, can clinical cases do some reading? There's one case, okay? There's one case of uh, gout neurocytes in wrist and fingers, okay? Suffering from gouty disposition about finger joints, which were very painful during cold and stormy weather, okay? The nodes ceased to be painful and sudden harshness came, ulcers in laryngeal followed by great dryness in the nose and painful. She lost flesh, but appetite kept good, okay? So calcarea force has been prescribed by her former attendant. She suffered from many days after the dose with a most copious discharge. Okay. So, after the delay, so the case has uh, considered a brotenum in 45 uh, M and uh, she was suffered many days. After this dose, with a copious discharge from her nose and bronchial tube, expectoration was copious, thick and yellow. Hoshness ceases at once. In a month, she was seized coughing. The finger joints became painful and swollen considerably. In third month or in a three months, she had no pain and nodes were scarcely perceptible. She had only one dose of the remedy at the case was going well enough. As the symptoms were taking the right course to recovery in the 
proper way. She suffered much pain on the road of recovery, but I know that means uh, Dr. Kent knows that uh, that only one way to cure these cases and that is to let the remedy alone when the symptoms are taking in the proper case. So if you're correct, if your medicine is correct, so in this, uh, the potency selection is very important. I'm going to tell you one more clinical thing that in your practices, when there is a totality, when there is a good totality, when you have repertorized or you haven't repertorized and you have uh, selected an, a perfect remedy for once, for your, uh, for your, I mean, say for your correctness, matlab, what should I say? For your will, just look at once. Just read once and everything will get in control. The medicine and everything. Next. Okay. okay. There is a rheumatic case of left ankle and knee. So, Ms. Mrs. T had suffered from chronic rheumatism of left ankle and knee for several years. She rubbed the limbs and strong liniment and rheumatism was speedily cured. But it was not long before she needed a physician. I saw her friend surrounding her bed and she was covered with profuse cold sweat setting, sitting throbbed up on pillow. Her friend said she was dying and I thought so too. So her friend said she was dying and uh, Mr. Dr. Kent also thought about that she was dying. She had a small, quick pulse. There was a pain in heart and auscultation over her heart revealed the usual story, which is too well known that all the, you know, as there are many such cases. She was six months pregnant, gave her a broterum and she was slowly recovered. The little one now bears a Christian name in honor of great cure. These two cases shows what a broterum can do with the proper indication. It is a powerful remedy of uh, must not be repeated. It acts weak in wave of cycles and it's seldom used. So what I'm saying that in this rheumatism, uh, there is a rheumatism you know, and profuse sweating. Okay. So this is why the medicine selection and the remedy selection is proper. I'm not saying that by reading this case and what you have learned, don't like, don't uh, focus on these cases. If you have reading, if you have read this cases or you have read many cases, try to focus on your intellect. Try to focus on your way of approaching the cases. So. I'm not saying that ki it's correct to uh, find the remedy or find the similar remedy in this case. But yes, if Dr. Kent find a brotenum and he feels uh, that a brotenum is best for this case and he, he surely recovers and she surely recovers in both of the cases we have seen. So yes, potency selection and uh, remedy selection is also necessary. Reading homeopathy is very nice and reading subjects is also fun. So do it. Do as readings as you can. So thank you so much. Uh, before going, if you have any query related to this uh, session or uh, you have any suggestions for me or if you have anything to say related to uh, understanding of the remedy related to synergy software related to um, any query related to anything or a case if you have a case you are not understanding the case just ask me okay so yes i'm stopping the 
sharing. Okay, so that's it for my side. So if you have something to say in this uh, session or if you, if you have any suggestions for me, just mail and uh, thanks for watching.